What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slime Quest TV. My name is Jeremy. This week we're talking about the Fish Smart app by Humminbird. It's an actual app for your Android or Apple phone. All you have to do is go to your Apple Store or Play Store, download the Humminbird Fish Smart app, and you're going to be able to have a lot of cool features. It's a free app, guys, so there's no reason not to download it. All you have to do is download it, and you're going to have access to chart select mapping. If you guys want to buy individual lake mapping, you can actually view it right there on your phone, and it's going to be off your GPS on your phone. So you can actually use it ice fishing, use it uh, before you get on the water the next day, the night before you're on. You can check everything out, just like you're in your boat, looking at the map on your GPS. So that's something really cool, guys. You could also plot waypoints off there. And uh, another thing, guys, is actually just being able to update your guys' Humminbird units from your smartphone. No more going on the computer, transferring onto an SD card, then into your unit. All you have to do is stick an SD card in your unit, get on your smartphone, on the Humminbird Fish Smart app, and actually just update on that unit through Bluetooth. It's only going to work for the Gen 2 and Gen 3 units, but it's a really cool thing, guys. And uh, also, troubleshooting. It's going to have manuals on there, all types of help right there on the FishSmart app. So we're going to kind of walk through you right now how to download this FishSmart app and how to get it hooked up to your unit and how to update your units. And then next week, we're going to be talking about all the Lake Master and Lake Chart mapping on that fish mart app and getting it transferred to your unit so stick with us it's going to be a great episode all right after you guys have downloaded the hummingbird fish mart app go ahead and click that open button right there you're going to come to this menu right here it's going to make sure that your phone's bluetooth is on to pair your cell phone to your hummingbird all we have to do is hit this menu button twice scroll over to the accessories menu go on down to phone bluetooth arrow to the right and turn your Bluetooth on. Now, exit out of all that, hit the menu button twice again, go to your phone Bluetooth, and in just a second, it'll have connect phone. It just takes a couple seconds. Now right here, it has connect new phone. All you're gonna wanna do, make sure that your Bluetooth is on, go over here, connect new phone, and Turn your Bluetooth off, turn it back on, and your Bluetooth menu is going to pop up. And right there in your scan is your Helix 7, right down there at the bottom. And now we have it in our Connect New Phone, pairing request, OK, hit Done. Now we're just gonna scroll down here to your Samsung SM. Over to the right, on your phone, it's gonna prompt you Bluetooth pairing request. Hit the OK button, Samsung is connected, and then hit that allow button, just like that right there. And now, your phone is connected to your Humminbird. Um, so you're actually gonna get your text messages through here, but most importantly, your app your new Humminbird Fish Smart app is now going to be connected to here too. Once you guys are paired up from your phone to your Humminbird, we're going to go ahead and hit done right here. Now that we got the Fish Smart app loaded up, we're going to go up here and just sign in. And if you guys haven't created a chart select account, this is where you get your individual lake maps from. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just sign in. I already have an account. If you don't have an account, just go down here and hit the register for chart select right here. It's going to bring you to chart select. Pretty much just needs your email and your name. So go ahead, go back. I'm going to sign in and we'll catch up with you in a second. Okay guys, now that we're signed in, we're going to go ahead and click on that link chart select account, account linked. Now we can go ahead, click the back button, and we're actually logged in on the Fish Smart, ma on the Fish Smart app. The first, the first thing I want to talk about on the Fish Smart app is, and this, this app is completely 100% free. With Even without a Humminbird, you can sign up for that chartselect.com and actually is this chart view. And this is actually just going to give you a GPS view of any area you're going to fish. So this is going to be great for when you're just scouting water a lot. I spend a lot of time on Google Maps 
and this is the newest, freshest satellite view right now, all the time. So we're just going to kind of pick a lake here. Closest one I see right here is Lake Geneva, and this is actually going to give you the ability... Wow, look at all those boats. That is classic Lake Geneva. So say we're zooming in, we see uh, something something crazy out here. We're like, uh, all right, this little point looks pretty good. There's a little swim platform out here. We're going to mark a waypoint right here. So this is going to be really good for ice fishing, guys, and stuff like that. You can actually add a waypoint right here. Now, once you connect this to your unit, you can actually transfer that waypoint right to your Humminbird unit, which is pretty cool, guys. And this is actually going to show you. So once you get out there and you're on the ice or you're on someone else's boat and you want your waypoints, this is actually going to show you where you're at on this map, too, and it's going to show you get right over the top of your waypoints. So that's something really cool, guys, that you can just, you know, have for free. And, uh, and now we're going to get into something else here. Now, to update the software off of your Fishsmart app, you're just going to need a blank SD card. Go ahead. You should have a blank SD card in your unit all the time so you can take screenshots and things of that nature. But we're going to go ahead, stick that baby in there. We jumped units because my other one is brand new and it's all up to date. But now, what we're going to do is actually, we're in our Fishsmart app and our main menu here. We're going to go ahead to our network tab here and we have our Helix 9 right here. It's popped up because I have it Bluetooth to my phone and it's always Bluetooth every time I turn on my unit. All we're gonna do is hit this update button right here. It's now downloading and it just downloaded. Now we're gonna transfer it. Do you want to, to continue? Estimated transfer time, six minutes. Confirm. We actually are going to I guess you might not have to use your SD card, guys. We're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do internal. Transfer. You can see it cutting across the menu right here. And we're going to go ahead, as soon as it gets to the end, I'm going to turn the camera back on for you guys. All right, guys, now that we're nearing completion here, you can see we're almost all the way over here to the right. You can see that the version I had before was version 1.900 and the available update was 2.180. So that's what we're updating to guys. And it's actually saying it's transferring right now and it should be done in just a second. All right guys, replace the software on this unit. We're gonna go ahead and arrow to the right for yes. Abort software update. No, updating software, and now it's updating on the unit. Thing here is done. It will say installed version will be 2.18 here in just a second. All right, guys, and that is all there is to it. Now my software is up to date, and we're good to go. The next thing I want to talk about is if you guys are having any kind of problems with your unit, they have self-help. Um, they have the YouTube videos from Humminbird TV. They have all the product manuals, uh, the Fish Smart help, Bluetooth pairing help, all types of help you could use right here on this Fish Smart app. The last thing I want to talk about, guys, is actually you're able to register your products right through this app now. If you hit that register product button, you can actually go through these prompts, type in your first, last name, date of birth, serial number, model number of the unit, and you could actually submit that and register units right through this app instead of going on to the website like you always had to before. So, thanks guys for watching the Fish Smart app. We're actually gonna do one more thing next week on the actual, the Lake Master mapping. And that's something really cool guys, is being able to download the Lake Master mapping and actually see it right there on your phone. The same mapping that you would have on your unit in the one foot contours you'll have on your phone. So it's gonna be awesome for when you're not on your boat, you're actually in the hotel the night before a fishing trip and you're looking for spots, you could actually mark waypoints in those spots and actually transfer those right to your unit. And that's what we're gonna be talking about next week, guys. And uh, then after that, we got some cool stuff coming up. I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of knot tying stuff, different knots, 
for every different scenario. It's getting hot out. We're not gonna be able to fish and get on a boat as much. Just too darn hot. It's already hot in here right now. Probably 90 degrees inside my garage. So stick with us next week, guys. More stuff on Hummingbird right now. See you guys next week.